Hi guys, it's Tegan, and today I'm making a video to show you guys that big surprise I was talking about um, in the last pig video, and I'm super, super excited to show her to you guys. Um, right now, I'm showing you Rose and Petunia, and she's not in with them yet, but she will be soon enough, so... Temporarily, I have her in her own cage right over here. So here she is. Hi! She's a very large pig. I'm going to see if I can open this. This is kind of a hard door to open. Just the bars won't be in the way. There we go. Hey! What you doing? You want to come on out? She's about four and a half months old, and I decided to name her Kiwi. And um, the names I were I was thinking about were Minnie Rose, and I would call her Minnie. And also, I was thinking maybe Papaya, but I decided to go with Kiki or Kiki. Wow, Kiwi. Um, um, it sort of sticks to the flower theme, like Petunia and Rose, but it's still a really cute name. So, if you come up with anything better than Kiwi, I ask that you put it, um, in the comments below for a suggestion. Um, but, that's the reason she is not in with Rose and Petunia is because they just... Um, are taking a lot longer to get along than I expected. I think Kiwi is kind of in shock. Um, she, whenever Rose and Petunia get near her, she starts to chatter her teeth. Hi, baby. Um, yeah, who's my chubby pig? Who's my chubby pig? But she starts to chat out of her teeth. Um, there she goes. Back under the little shelf. Um, she, uh, we, I actually got her yesterday. She came home with me yesterday. Um, and we did a little introduction and it really didn't go very well. I expected it to go a lot better. Uh, so today we got out the kiddie pool and put the pigs in that. And I actually only did kiwi and petunia. Sometimes we kept them separated by the playpen. Sometimes we didn't. And by the end of it they both were very calm. Petunia didn't have many issues the whole time, just at the beginning. She was a little aggressive with Kiwi, but Kiwi was kind of aggressive the whole time, I think because she was scared. But by the end, she calmed down and she was fine. So, um, Rose is the main problem, though. Rose makes Kiwi very, very nervous, and she's just... I mean, she's Rose. She's the boss. She, so, yeah. Uh, she's gonna be the main problem when getting, when it comes to getting Kiwi into the herd. But, um, and this is a new cage. If you ever saw Rose's old cage, um, this is right about the same size the bottom is. It's on my desk where I used to have the computer and stuff like that. Um, this is actually part of a ferret cage. So, um, I put this shelf here. I put it pretty low so that Kiwi could jump up on it really easily. Because I have the ramp from Rose's old cage that I could stick on there. But it doesn't stay very well. And it, it just takes up, you know, enough room where I don't really want to put it there. And then... Right here is a food bowl that is attached to the side, and I, it's pretty deep, so I have it filled up 
kind of a lot so she can reach the food. And then there's a ramp that goes up to this shelf up here and she's got a little alfalfa hay since she's under the age of six months and she's got a dish of water because I haven't bought a second water bottle yet um, which I do want to do but I just haven't yet so I kinda wanna get Kiwi out so you can see her I know she kinda ran past the camera earlier but I wanna get her out maybe she'll no she's just laying down you can see her right in there hello Kiwi Hello, baby. So, um, if I put this in here, maybe the pigs will come up to it and say hi. I'm just going to set it inside Petunia and Rose's cage for a minute. Oops, sorry, I'm blocking the lens. There we go. There we go. You can see him. Okay, Kiwi. Come here, honey. Hey baby, can I pick you up or do you want to go up on the shelf? Mm -hmm. Come on. Kiwi, come here. Come here, Kiwi. It's just me. It's just me, honey. There's a good Kiwi. You need a nail trimming. Alright. So I'll show you Kiwi. I have her in my lap. Here's Kiwi. Unfortunately, I am wearing yellow pants, so she's a little hard to see. Hello, baby. Hi. She is a very big guinea pig. This is my hand, and this is the four and a half, five months old guinea pig. She's huge. She's bigger than Rose and Petunia, and they're a year old each. So, you can see back here on her, like, hips, down her butt, she's got gray. Her leg, her feet, white, pink in some areas, of course, because she's white. Light gray ear. Well, I guess light grayish and pink ear. And then around this eye, she's got light gray. Around this eye, she's got. The shadow isn't helping. Dark gray. Kiwi! Kiwi pig! Kiwi pig! She's a really good guinea pig, and this is why I got her, because I haven't had her for more than a day, <laughs> and she's just this calm already. So, I'm just going to turn you. This is why I got Kiwi. Yeah, she's super cute. She's got really big ears. <laughs> really big ears, yeah. You can see her colors. I don't think she's a purebred of any kind. So, I'm not going to say a breed because I really don't know. Definitely probably a lot of American though. Now that the shadow isn't there, you can see she's white over there with some light gray. Right there, that's her light gray. So, that's Kiwi. And I hope you guys liked meeting her. She's looking at Rose. Rose and Petunia. Um, yeah, so hopefully soon enough I'll have them together. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And please comment any video requests or name suggestions. But I think I'm probably going to stick with Kiwi. It's just cute and catchy. So, yeah, please comment. 
rate, subscribe, and I hope you like this video. So, um, one last thing is I'm just gonna put Kiwi in the cage and show you guys her up on the shelf. So I'm just gonna set this here. Oh, she doesn't want to go on the shelf, so we're not going to see her on the shelf. Alright. Bye.